I wanted to bring you along today to show you my uh, Amish community hall. So um, I lived in California most of my life and when I was there I'd never gone to an Amish community until just recently in the last year when I moved to Missouri. Um, there's several Amish communities out here and um, one of my sisters in Messiah within the first like week or two of moving here had taken me to our closest Amish um, community which is actually 15 miles of um, just Amish land and um, it's uh, multiple Amish uh, family owned businesses so um, some people run bulk food uh, little shops or bakeries or wood shops or fix it places um, or warehouses that have equipment and different things like that. So it's a wonderful place to go. Um, really lovely people, super hardworking, and I, I certainly admire their lifestyle and um, just their conviction and uh, the amount of things they're able to produce as a community when they all work together. So I really like to support them and in turn I'm able to get a lot of um, fresh produce and other items that are beneficial to my normal everyday use as well as emergency and like my emergency and storable pantry um, for very good price in comparison so um, I'm just gonna go over the items with you that I got today I spent about $300 and I may even go back next week because they'll be closing for the winter um, to the public. So I may go next week with my friend as well um, to potentially get some pumpkins and different things like that. So here we go. So right here in front of me, um, this is, I forgot how many pounds they said this was, but this is a box of tomatoes um, their produce is organically grown so um, but since they don't have to pay for the organic certification they're able to sell it cheaper it's kind of like going to a farmers market um, but even less expensive so I got this entire box of tomatoes they smell wonderful they're perfectly ripe dark red um, so this whole box was $16 and I plan to slice up several of them and dehydrate them in um, my new Excalibur dehydrator I got um, a couple weeks ago, as well as um, see if I can make some tomato sauce to can and put up on the shelf. So I still haven't, um, I've only water bath, bath canned, I haven't pressure canned as of yet. So I have a presto, presto canner, so I hope to learn how to do all that kind of stuff soon. <laughs> um, I'm a little intimidated, not even for safety reasons. I think just any time I do something new, um, it takes me a while. I do like a silly amount of research first and then I feel like I can start it. So, um, still researching, <laughs> but I gotta get going this week. So there's that. Um, they had, I got four good sized zucchinis. Um, I believe it was four for a dollar. And um, I'll probably just eat these fresh. Um, and then I may maybe, if I don't know, if I find that we're not eating them fast enough, I'll dehydrate them or something like that. Um, okay. Over here, I bought um, four dozen of their eggs. So these are um, fresh pasture-raised eggs. And they're not washed. Therefore, they don't have to be refrigerated. And um, I'll probably use like a dozen of them just to like fresh eating. And then three dozen I plan to water glass in a cow lime solution like I did um, in the last month or so. Uh, just as another way to preserve eggs um, to have that source in case something happens. Um, so. That's my thought process with that. Okay, so coming over here, I got two bushels of Fuji apples. So this was actually my 
primary goal and reason for going to the Amish community today was to get, hopefully get, um, bushels of apples so that I could make applesauce and apple cider and dehydrated apples and potentially make some apple pie filling. So I was successful. The first shop that I went into um, had um, two bushels of Fuji and they're just beautiful. All different sizes. And actually um, really nice ripeness. They're still hard. Um, most of them look like they're in really good shape. I haven't found really any mushy ones yet. So I need to get these taken care of in the next day or so, um, just to preserve their, um, you know, preserve them at the best state. I may uh, kind of sort out the mushier ones and do those next Monday um, and make applesauce out of them because that's not the biggest deal. So there's that bushel, and then this box as well is the second bushel. Also at the same bulk shop, they had um, acorn squash, so I got three of these. Um, so I got three of these, and I think it was like $2 for the three of them. Um, over here, this was at a different shop, um, and I got two, I think, what are they called? I think they're called picks. Right. So, peck. So I got two more pecks of apples. This is a Honeycrisp. These giant apples are literally gigantic, like as big as my baby's head. But they look really nice. And then another peck of Golden Delicious. So, not totally sure what I'm going to do with all these. Um, like I said, I have my kind of ideas of what I want to do. But we'll see what apples go where. And obviously some fresh eating. <laughs> my girls have already gotten to a few of them. so um, And I'll make sure that I save all the cores and skins for apple cider vinegar. from Like made from home, apple scrap vinegar. Also I've made a, a apple scrap jelly that's really good too. So that was the biggest success of the day for sure, but then I got quite a bit of other goodies as well that I'm excited about. So let's see, we'll come down here first. This is a, I think it's a 10 pound bag of potatoes. Let's see. 10 pounds. 10 pound bag of potatoes. I normally get organic potatoes. Um, I just decided to pick them up, so I may um, peel them and um, grate them and potentially um, blanch them and uh, then freeze them to make hash browns ready to go in the freezer. So that's kind of my thought process there. Over here, this is one of probably the best deal. Um, besides the apples of the day. Um, this is a 50 pound bag of organic cane sugar for $43.75. In comparison, um, I've been finding the best deals on bulk grains and stuff like this from Azure Standard. And in my next month, or this month's order, in my cart on Azure, I had a 50 pound bag of organic cane sugar for $57.50, I believe. But this, um, before making my Azure order, this came out to uh, $43.75. So I'm saving about $15 there. And um, in case that order doesn't go through for whatever reason, I at least have this bag of organic cane sugar to feed my kombucha for quite a while. Okay, uh, right here. When I went to Sam's recently, they were completely out of paper towels, which is super weird, but I know there's a lot of stocking issues going on right now. So they had some toilet paper, but no paper towels. So at one of the shops in the Amish community, um, they had these kind of like industrial rolls of paper towels. And this was a dollar a roll. So I got two of them up here. My friend and I split a box of stainless steel pots. 
they had a box of four pots with lids for $35, which is really good for stainless steel. And we split the cost. I gave her a little bit more. I took the two largest ones and she took the two smaller ones and that's kind of what we both wanted. So that worked out really good. Um, I don't currently have a stainless steel stock pot this large. So that was definitely very exciting. And they're typically a lot more expensive. Okay, coming over here, my daughter removed the packaging on this. That's why it looks kind of funny, but these are more um, kind of restaurant style paper towels. And these were 50 cents per package. And I got two packages. So all these paper towels down here, um, it was $3 for all that compared to like say $20 for um, obviously the paper towels at Sam's, but they're a different material and I get all that. So, um, okay, in this bag, I have a, just a traditional um, mop that I use, I don't know, for whatever reason, I haven't switched over to like the newer style mops, I don't really like them. So um, I just bought another uh, $2 mop, maybe when the other one's in the washing machine. I'll use that one. And then here's a few other kind of funny items. So winter's coming up, um, definitely snows in Missouri. <laughs> and we didn't have any winter gloves last year and that was a problem. So I bought a pair for each of us. So a pair for my husband, a pair for me. And a little pair for my daughter. Those were, I think, three dollars each. Um, uh, Four fifty. Right here, um, these are kind of like utilitarian, like rubber gloves. These were a dollar. And also deal with like hot stuff. We need that. There's a giant pack of cotton balls for a dollar. Um, I needed cling wrap, which. Um, I didn't want to pay a ton at Sam's when I was there the other day for cling wrap because I didn't I don't use it that often just for a few select things. So for $1.75 I got a tube. This will literally last me like years. So um, I just use it for a few things. Right here, these are two um, for $7.50. It was, let's see if we can look this up with them. It's, it was a two pack of mini shovels and they're actually um, very sturdy and good quality. Um, the thought process for that was um, if we ever had to use the restroom outside, we would be able to um, have a smaller shovel to take with us and handle our business. So there's that. Okay, over here, um, one thing that I was hoping, hoping to find more of um, in the Amish community, because I have before, was flats of mason jars. And I heard from a woman um, in the last couple months that there is a particular shop within the community that is like the place to go to get the flats of mason jars, but we didn't make it. It's towards the back of the community and it's quite a ways. So, um, this was just what I was able to find in the three shops that we went to. And so these are just um, two flats of the jelly jars, regular mouth. Um, but I plan to make a bunch of jams and jellies here soon. So um, that's exciting. I know one of the reasons I needed a bunch of apples was my friend gave me a five pound bag of frozen cranberries recently. And with her bag of cranberries she had gotten, um, she made the most delicious cranberry apple jam with um, just sweetened with honey. And she had given me a little uh, jar of it and it was so good. We ate it like in a day <laughs> on biscuits. So, um, and granola and that sort of thing. Oh, we actually had it on cheesecake, it was amazing. So anyways, uh, she gave me the recipe and I want to <laughs> make as much as that as, as possible. Okay, over here, again, these are just some random things, but, ooh, it's falling. Don't fall. Okay, right here, this is kinda 
random, but they had maternity pads for $1.25 since they plan to have babies for the next like 10, 15 years. <laughs> Those will come in handy, so if not, they're absorbent for whatever they need to be. Um, these were really cheap. These are just little, um, just, oops, just cheap little um, baskets. Three packs. I got a red and a blue. Uh, I have a cabinet by my fridge that is crying out for organization. So I'm trying to find little containers to kind of keep everything. It's kind. There's just so many like random little knickknacks and stuff, but they all kind of need a home. So I prefer everything having a little basket that you could still see. So that's my favorite way to organize that. And then, let's see, this was random. Um, but this is just, um, I think this was a dollar, but it's like these little, yeah, these little uh, cups, disposable. That's just to go in my storable disposable stuff. Okay, now in this box, this box is like full of stuff. So um, I was gonna organize it for the video, but um, I'm trying as you know, as a mom, just to utilize my time wisely. <laughs> so I wanted to get this video out, but um, I didn't wanna spend an extra five, 10 minutes organizing it right away. So I'll just go through it the best I can without tossing stuff all over the place. So um, here, this I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, so this contains 48 wide mouth canning jars for, let's see if I can focus. Anyways, um, 48 wide mouth canning jars for $2.15. So I got, I'm sorry, two dozen. So um, there's 24, 24 per pack. Sorry, my brain. So 48 total. Um, wide mouth canning jars. I feel like a lot of times I can, um, first of all, it's really difficult to find a good price on canning lids in general right now because of everything. And then wide mouth is even more difficult and more expensive. So that was awesome. I would have got more, but those are the only two packs that I saw. Okay, let's see if I can focus here. Okay, so I got two of these wooden spoons um in the kitchen wooden spoons are like one of my best friends <laughs> um these were a dollar fifty each and they feel like really good quality they're very they kind of have a good weight to them and they're solid um and they're soft so hopefully those last me for a while um this is kind of a whatever cheapy hairbrush but i tend to go through hairbrushes a lot so there you go um these are just one of those um, kind of cheapy press lights that you can place like in a garage or in a closet or somewhere like random where you're not gonna wire electricity. Um, and it's just a press light, both of them light up. Um, so I think that was like a dollar, but I know these work. My landlord has a few of these around the house. Ah, rubber band. So. I've been eating rubber bands in the kitchen to close up bags and stuff for a while. And I reuse the ones I get from the store, but for some reason they keep running out. So for $1.25, I got all the rubber bands I will need for my life. <laughs> so that's exciting. Okay, right here, this my friend saw. Um, this is a multi-tool. These things are awesome. If you guys don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting one. My husband carries, um, his. He has a really nice one that he carries uh, in his pocket at all times, but it just has a little bit of everything and uh, it's come in handy for him multiple times. So typically um, the ones you can find at like Home Depot or hardware stores are like, double the price. So they're anywhere from like, I mean, at very minimum $20, but I've seen them um, between like 30 and $70, believe it or not. So um, this one actually looks really good quality. So I'm hoping that'll be helpful to me. I'm gonna keep this one in my purse. Okay, um, this was random. I kind of feel like I spent too much money on this. This is five bucks, but I don't know. 
maybe if you guys know better, <laughs> maybe they're more expensive than I think. But um, I've been looking for um, brass gold um, colored knobs to hang towels or um, cloth diaper covers in my bathroom because they're, they're kind of just like are always on the floor or hung over the bathtub or somewhere where I just don't want them. So I want them hung up and out of the way. So I thought those would be cute. Um, all the other um, accessories in the bathroom are brass. So this was five bucks. Maybe this is a good deal. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but there you go. I got this. Okay, got some. I love these things. Um, adhesive hooks. So if those knobs don't work, I can use those. From the same company of the multi tool, um, for under two bucks, I got a, a you know pretty decent pair of scissors. I've been using the same pair of scissors for like a few years, and it works fine. But I feel like you know when you misplace the one pair of scissors that you have, it gets a little tough to open things. So I think it'd be nice to have two in the house. Here's one more um, hanging tool. So this was like. 275, um, a solid hanger. Um, let's see, three pounds. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for yet, but these definitely come in handy. So I got some more stainless steel scrubbies. These, if you guys have cast iron pans and you wonder how to like scrape off food off of them, I mean, I always, um, like put water in my cast iron and let it sit for a couple minutes to loosen it up but stainless steel scrubbies are amazing and um i know some people say that it takes off the coating but i've i've used stainless steel skillets like almost exclusively for years and my skillets look great and i take care of them otherwise and yeah i definitely will continue to use these i don't see uh see an issue personally so let's see um i saw these um we'll see i don't know it was kind of a random but um we only wear 100 percent um material clothing um, mainly 100 percent cotton because that's the most affordable and um quite breathable and comfortable so um it's very difficult to find 100 percent cotton um socks in underwear if you don't believe me, try. <laughs> um, just because so many things are mixed nowadays. So anyways, they had these. Um, it's for my husband's size. Size 10 to 12 shoe. Uh, made in USA. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I got two of those. Told them, you know, to try them. I'm sure that, like, they'll be fine. But 350 hopefully they're all right. Okay, let's see. This was kind of a random pickup. This is called um, Trafala, I guess. It says digestion and colon cleanse. It was $5.85. Um, let's see the ingredients on this guy. Oh, are you gonna focus for me? Yeah, so there you go. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. In the sense, like, I don't even know what it is. So it was kind of like one of those weird, like, pickups, like, oh, like, I, you know. This brand's usually good, and it seemed interesting, so I'm gonna do some more research, but I thought that was kind of cool to have. Um, and I know if I were to buy this full price at a store, it would be more than $5.85 for sure. So. Okay, um, let's see. This was kind of for my um, emergency storable items, or even just camping. These hand warmer things work really well. Um, and they had, you buy three of these for a dollar, so I, I got nine of them. Um, so three bucks. Um, and we'll just throw those, yeah, in our camping and bug out bag, that sort of thing. Let's see, I'm just going through so many random things. Um, they had, I like this particular brand, um, the front, Frontier Co-op of spices. So if I were to get this in the grocery store, it'd probably be somewhere between five and ten dollars. Um, I just know from experience, at least at my grocery store. So they had these for $1.25, coriander seeds. So I got 
um, two of the whole seed, two of the ground, and then I got two, um, they had two uh, chili powder blends for the same price. So I thought that was a win. Okay, right here, the box was a little dinged up, but um, totally fine. So this is a organic multigrain with flax instant hot cereal. This is just something I'm gonna keep in my storable pantry. Um, we will eventually go through it, um, but I think it's something that you, you, know, you just kind of have to add water and um, their individual packets. It was 80 cents for the whole box. So I believe I got two boxes of those because um, that's the, something else you have to remember and I'm learning all this kind of stuff is when you're preparing for particularly an emergency and different things, you know, you can have, you know, hundreds of pounds of dry beans and rice, but you may not have the means to cook that. You may not have the water to cook that or the time to cook that. So even though it's definitely beneficial to have those things, and I do have those things, you also want a mix of things that can be quick um, and just requires like maybe a small amount of water and a small amount of heating and that sort of thing. Okay, so this is another thing um, that I'm going to keep one of these in my car. This is a small pack of the water wipes. I really like these wipes in general. Um, there's really like nothing in them. A lot of the um, wipes that you buy um, have a lot of weird chemicals. I personally don't even use, um, I don't even know what they're, what are these called? Um, I don't use wet wipes um, for my daughter's diaper change anyways. Um, we're fully cloth diapering um so i just like get a washcloth wet usually with warm water for at home or just like i have a water bottle that i keep with me if we're out and about so um but this will be good to have if like hands get messy and i'll keep one in my purse and then the other ones i'll keep in the bug out bag um because you could do like a quick body clean or hand clean if you needed to um, if you don't have water so i got four packets of that Okay, um, doo -doo -doo. um, just two very basic can openers, um, so these are good, I have lots of cans, <laughs> and I want to be able to open them, so I like kind of placing these in different areas of my pantry and uh, storage pantry, as well as like bug out bag, so, um, it could definitely come in handy, so. There's that. Um, <laughs> got measuring spoons for my own house. Uh, let's see. Um, a very good heavy duty steel slotted spoon. Um, yeah, impressed by the quality for $1.75. So, um, can't go wrong with that. Some random pens. Um, a little horse anybody this was um my daughter's gift for being a good obedient three-year-old <laughs> so i appreciate that <laughs> um these um i don't do boxed um like pasta macaroni like these um in general like regularly but i think you know, for 75 cents, it's still within the expiration date. Um, the box is just a little dinged. I think it's good to have, again, in the emergency pantry, and I'll make sure to use it before it gets too old. So, yeah. I bought a few of those last time I went to the Amish community as well. So here's um, socks. Okay. Right here, they had, um, for three bucks, I got two packs of half a pound of um, ground coffee beans, organic. Um, that's a pretty good price considering, and one of the main reasons I got it is all the coffee that I have at home is whole bean because um, I like to grind my beans the day of when I make coffee and put them in the French press. It's just the most fresh, delicious way to do it. However, um, 
again, if I were to be in an emergency, I do have some instant coffee, um, but I may not have the ability to grind beans. So this was kind of just like, I don't know, I saw it and I thought, mm, that could come in handy or even just to give to somebody if someone's like feeding for some coffee if they need it. So um, this was probably one of my best buys of the day. I bought, let's see, five, five pounds of um, active dry yeast for 315 per pound. And if you go look that up on Amazon or Walmart right now, that is the best price. And it's actually, um, I think uh, Amazon right now, they're charging like minimum like 10 bucks per pound. Um, and then Azure Standard was a really good price. I think maybe similar, a little bit more. And uh, they discontinued their active dry yeast in the last month or so. So um, I mainly use this to make challah every um, Arab Shabbat as well as, um, or for every Arab Shabbat. And then also, um, you know, every, like maybe a, a couple, a couple days per month, I do like a uh, quick sourdough loaf. So it has sourdough starter and dry yeast and it's ready in a few hours to bake. I'm gonna be doing a video of that one soon, um, but I use a little bit of yeast in that. So that's very exciting. Let's see, um, you can't have enough white vinegar, so that was like 250. Um, and then I got a hundred pack of clothes pins. Um, I have a, cl a couple clothes lines already, so if I needed to um, dry my clothes outside, and you can also use these for other uses too. So let's see. Um, that same brand of like the hot cereal. I got some organic breadcrumbs, $1.25. Um, let's see, I think that's everything in here. Yes, okay. Okay, so one of the last things I wanted to mention was that we went by a home that uh, had a sign that said fresh milk and butter. So we went by there and they had fresh, raw milk and wow it is glorious um i just miss raw milk so much um since being in california where i used to pay an arm and a leg for it and i know it was from a really good company out there and it was like triple tested and all this good stuff um so i definitely think it was worth it for sure um but this particular family was selling a gallon of raw milk for three dollars so i bought two gallons and he literally walked out of his house with two empty gallon jugs and went and got the milk fresh for me um so i don't i don't know if he necessarily milked the cow on the spot or if he um had it ready to go but he brought empty <laughs> gallon jugs into the barn so Wow, and it tastes amazing. So one of my issues with um, finding raw milk was that even if they say it's grass-fed, sometimes um, when they they can like um, also add in some like GMO feed or corn and different things uh, into the cow's diet. But this particular family said that they're um, grass-fed pretty much all the time unless they're... Um, when they're being milked, they're um, eating hay. So um, yeah, I felt comfortable getting that. It won't be all the time.